Hey, I'm here for your monthly market update. So following inflation that dropped to 2.7% in April, we finally saw last week interest rates drop 2.5 uh, basis points, which is amazing. So the, the interest rate dropped from 5% to 4.75%. It's not huge, but it indicates further downward trending, which is great as it provides relief for many home buyers. Variable, anyone with a variable mortgage, your interest um, payment now is paying typically more towards principal, depending how you have it structured. And anyone with a home line of credit, you would Im immediately experience a decrease in your interest rate. Um, bond yields have been trending downwards, which is what affects fixed rates. So overall, we are seeing lower interest rates when compared to the winter or last fall, which is great news as it allows for affordability for many home buyers. When looking at the number of transactions in May, it was down 21% when compared to last year, yet inventory was up 21% when compared to last year. So there's obviously a lot of pent up demand. We didn't see a typical spring market when coming into this year. We saw the, the beginning of the year being busier than typical in this winter, and that kind of followed um, interest rates remaining flat. And then as we entered the spring market, I think a lot of people were anticipating there to be rate cuts and a lot of people are waiting kind of on the sidelines for that to continue to happen. So as they continue to happen over the next year, if they do, um, we're anticipating more buyers to enter the home market and especially for some home buyers as affordability becomes easier for them. So I think the next year should be very interesting. If you have any questions about your particular situation, if you're thinking to make a move or just the overall market, we're always happy to chat, so reach out.